Welcome back to Project Z Garage. I'm Al and today we're back on the Audi. We're going to try and figure out what's going on with the stern control arms. Um, so what we're going to do is just loosen the lugs on the wheel, jack up the car, put it on stands and see what we can do. Stay tuned. Here we go again. So, of course, we're gonna have to change out this bolt right here. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of WD 40. Give us a little bit of extra help to get this stuff out. Let's take a look at what's going on. You could see the motion. I'll try and give you a better look. See, there's a lot of motion in there. Sorry if I'm moving at the same time. When I take it off, you'll see it better. All right, here we go. A 16 millimeter to hold the other side. To get that back nut out, what I did is I used a wrench and locked it in another wrench to try and get it slack out. Let's see if it'll work. God damn it. That's tight. Looks like I got it to move. And when I say I lock a wrench into another wrench, I'm just putting it like this and then forcing it down to turn it. Got some slack on it. Just the rust is really giving me a hard time. All right, so cleaned out the rust from inside of here. Made it so we could see the snap ring inside. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off that snap ring. As you can see, this is way too loose, and we'll swap out the other piece right into here. This end, we're just gonna push it out with the press and press in a new one. That's fairly simple, but this is our main concern. This one right here is to show everyone how to get this out. All right, let me try and pry it out. Come on, work with me here. Thank you. 
That's a lot of rust. definitely clean up this ring but it should come with new rings for that too and we'll see about pulling this out I may need to grab my puller and jaws and pull this straight out but I'll try it in one second let me clean it up first okay welcome back this is way harder than I thought so give you guys a look down inside I actually had to end up taking it to the bench connecting this to a vise tighten it down and then slowly just tapping on here to try and get it out um, I didn't want to damage the finish on this, but it's not that bad. I'm going to clean this out, pack the new one with some grease, and I'll just press this other one, new one in. All right, let's see how this goes. Our rebuild kit came on a new snap ring. Just to show you what we're working with here. What kind of plastic is this? <laughs> wow, you can see the difference in how tight this, god damn it, fits. How tight that is. And when you go like this, that's no good. There's a lot of slop in that. So it's a good thing we're rebuilding. I'm just going to clean this out quickly and we'll press in the new one. So we've got some wheel bearing chassis grease back in here. Suspension grease is what they have it called. This is fairly clean. Everything looks clean on this. Going to have to press this down into this one. I'll take you over to the press. I'll find something that will fit this correctly. And we'll just press this right down inside. Jesus. Shouldn't be too hard. See you in a minute. Just want to go slowly with it. Very low tension. This is probably an aluminum piece on the head. Aluminium, whatever people want to call it. I want to go soft. I don't want to damage anything. If you feel anything binding, any problems, stop immediately. This should be going in very smoothly. All right, I'm going to back off and go again. Nice if I tighten it back up. Now remember, we've got to go down to where the snap ring can reach. So it's just a little bit. Back off, I'll take a look at it. See where our snap ring needs, needs to be. we got to go a little bit more. Very fractional just so that we get to that groove for the snap ring. That's not even. Back it out. Don't rush this at all. Take your time. Of all the points that you don't want to screw up, right here is the one. Almost there. Just going to clean up that edge so I can see where that snap ring needs to go. Make sure I'm not touching anything. I'm a little bit tight, so I'm gonna get a little bit smaller piece.
right, let's see where we're at now. <laughs> Feel like I need to go a little bit more. Make sure nothing's damaging. All right, this looks good. Right at the edge. All right, we've pressed in the new bushing. So we should be good right there. You'll know when you're done, because in this little sight hole here, you're gonna be dead level with that. We've got a new snap ring. We're gonna try and do that right now and get this in here. So I'm just probably gonna go from one side first and then get the other side so it's right by the edge. So just in case when you're ready to take it off again and do this all over again, you don't have a problem. All right, new ones in, new locks in. This thing, I don't know why they didn't put eyes on this so you could grip it and put it in, but that gave me hell to get in. As you can see, the old one, very sloppy, very loose. The new one's very stiff. And all we gotta do is put everything back together again. All right, here we go. Bolton. Remember, don't fully tighten these rear bolts until the suspension is fully compressed, and then you'll be set with there. go. I should jack this up a little bit, get the other one lined up, and then I can put the new pinch bolt on and we'll be all set. Just to give you an idea, this is what it looks like. And that pinch ring that goes in is nothing but hell. It took me forever. I have, sorry I had to do it off camera, but this took forever to get it done. And of course, gotta get alignment when we're finished. All right, hope this helps people out. Talk to you soon. Bye.